conservative or bourgeois socialism, almost like a contradiction in terms. Okay, a part of the bourgeoisie is desirous of redressing social grievances in order to secure the continued existence of bourgeois society. This is liberalism, right, in this classical sense. To this section belong economists, philanthropists, humanitarians, approvers of the condition of the working class, organizers of charity, members of societies for the prevention of cruelty to animals, temperance fanatics, hole and corner reformers of every imaginable kind. This form of socialism has moreover been worked out into complete systems. They, we may cite Proudhon's philosophy de la miserie, uh, the, the uh, philosophy uh, of poverty, as an example of this form. The, uh, and Proudhon was highly influential at the time of this writing. Uh, and, and many of Proudhon's ideas make their way into Marx and Engels' writings, uh, but in a, you know, they have a, a very sharp criticism uh, of Proudhon. Uh, Marx will go on to write, or maybe he wrote it before this, uh, I can't remember how that works out, but he wrote The Poverty of Philosophy as a switcheroo of Proudhon's title, and it's a, you know, point by point criticism of Proudhon, uh, but that shows the the importance of Proudhon's thinking. And and Proudhon's uh, big slogan was that property is theft. Uh, and 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 he shows how property, in the sense like when I was discussing Locke, I was thinking of Proudhon quite a bit. Um, the idea of 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 real property and enclosing a part of the commons, the original commons, uh, Proudhon argues that uh, enclosing without labor, without uh, proper useful uh, use value being derived from an enclosure uh, means that that enclosure is, is a product of theft. Uh, so the ideas that we saw, you know, little traces of in Jean Locke, Proudhon develops quite, quite thoroughly and, and there's some good arguments there. It's, it's, it's an interesting work, but it's, uh, you know, and, and just the idea that he's talking about land property, he conceives a property primarily as, as land, uh, shows how he's out of sync with the historical progress. He's thinking in feudal terms when the modern bourgeois state, uh, you know, and, and modern bourgeois economy has already taken hold, where property is the means of production, is the factory, not the, not the countryside uh, field where you graze your sheep, uh, it's the factory. And Proudhon is not, not clear on that. He's stuck in these old ideas of economics uh, and not fully conscious of, of bourgeois production and the extent to which the bourgeoisie have taken over. Okay, the socialistic bourgeois want all the advantages of modern social conditions without the struggles and dangers necessarily resulting therefrom. They desire the existing state of society minus its revolutionary and disintegrating elements. You know, let's, say, you know, let's just, we can just, fix it up and make it work. And it doesn't have to be this big antagonism between the bourgeoisie and the proletariat. They wish for a bourgeoisie without a proletariat. The bourgeoisie naturally conceives the world in which it is supreme to be the best. And bourgeois socialism develops this comfortable conception into various more or less complete, uh, uh, into various more complete systems. In requiring the proletariat to carry out such a system and thereby to march straight away into the social new Jerusalem, it but requires in reality that the proletariat should remain within the bounds of existing society, but should cast away all its hateful ideas concerning the bourgeoisie. All right, so proletariat, just get used to your conditions in those factories where the children are working, you know, that we've seen. 
and stop being so hateful, right? Because really everybody could be bourgeoisie. Everybody could not work. But that, that's problematic. Not, not everybody can be rich and not work. Somebody has to do the work. A second and more practical but less systematic form of this socialism sought to uh, de depreciate every revolutionary move movement in the eyes of the working class by showing that no mere political reform uh, but only a change in the material conditions of existence and economic relations could be of any advantage to them. By changes in, in material conditions of existence, this form of socialism, however, by no means understands abolition of the bourgeois relations of production, an abolition that can be affected only by a revolution. But administrative reforms based on the continued existence of these relations, reforms therefore that in no respect affect the relations between capital and labor, but at the best lessen the cost and simplify the administrative work of the bourgeois government. Okay, so this is liberalism as we know it, you know, the, the Democratic Party in the, in, in the United States today is very much uh, involved in this kind of bourgeois socialism. Bourgeois, bourgeois socialism attains adequate expression when and only when it becomes a mere figure of speech. Free trade for the benefit of the working class, protective duties for the benefit of the working class, prison reform for the benefit of the working class. This is the last word and the only seriously meant word of bourgeois socialism. Now, these, free trade does not benefit the working class. Protective duties does not benefit the working class. Prison reform does not uh, benefit the working class. If you get out of prison and you get to go to a wage slave condition in a factory, that's not, that's not true liberation. Um, in this communist way of conce conceiving of it. Um, but, uh, you know, as we know, many people, you know, about half the population in the United States, um, you know, believes in this kind of socialism. Prison reform, let's, let's not, you know, have nonviolent offenders spend the rest of their life in prison uh, because of the war on drugs and all that. Um, but then when they get out of prison, they still, they still have difficulty finding a job because they're uh, a, an ex-convict. Uh, when they do find a job, they're not making enough to live on. You know, and recidivism and go, you know, turning to, to crime is very prevalent because the conditions outside of the prison are almost as bad as the conditions inside the prison. It's summed up in the phrase, the bourgeois is a bourgeois for the benefit of the working class. The job creators, right? The bourgeoisie, they're the, they're the job creators. 